Hello, in this video we are going to talk about boundary points in subsets of Rn. We're going to define it and we're going to try to um, explain the definition. Um, so definition. Definition. This is really cool mathematics. So let S be a subset of Rn. We're going to start with, with that. So S is a subset of Rn. And we're going to define a boundary point. So a point, a point P, okay, a point P in Rn is called a boundary point. Okay, it's called a boundary point of S if, okay, if for all r greater than zero, so for every positive number r, no matter how small, if you look at the intersection between the ball of radius r centered at that point p with s, it's not empty. It contains at least one element, so it's not empty. And if you take that same open ball centered at p of radius r, it doesn't matter what r it is, it's for all r, and you intersect it with the complement, so Rn set minus s, that is also not empty. So there's some stuff in both of these sets, and we're going to talk about that and why that's important. The set, the set, okay, so the set of all boundary points, of all of them. So if you took all of them and you put them in a set, the set of all boundary points of S okay, is called the boundary of S. So boundary, boundary of S, which makes sense and denoted by, okay, it's denoted by, you can use BDYS or perhaps more common, it's this like delta S um, notation, boundary of S. So let's, let's try to rationalize this definition intuitively and we can do that by just pretending for a moment that instead of we're living in n dimensions, we're living in two. So let's pretend that this is our set um, S, okay, and let's just try to think about this definition and try to make sense of it. So if you've got a point P and Rn, you're saying it's a boundary point of S if, well what does it mean to be a boundary point? It means right here right? That's the boundary, right? This whole piece here, that's the boundary, right? So this, this solid line here you see is the boundary. So this is a boundary point. So if, if I look at a, an open ball centered there, it doesn't matter how small it is, right? So that's BRP. So that little ball I drew, that's B sub RP. That's our open ball uh, centered at P. This is P, right? Of radius R. And so I can make that, I can make that ball smaller and smaller and smaller, but that's what it would look like, right? And what this is saying is if I take the ball and I intersect it with S, it's not empty. What that means is, oh, there's some stuff over here in S. And, and if I intersect it with, um, with stuff outside of S, it also has to be not empty. Oh, there has to be some stuff here. So the thing is, check this out. Say I pick a point here. That's not going to be a boundary point, right? Because sure, I can find that open ball. And there's points in both places. There's points outside of S and points inside of S, right? See, I can... I can pick that up, I can pick that point and I can make an open ball so that there's points inside of S and points outside of S. But the problem is, the problem is it has to be true for all R. So what I could do then is I could say, oh, wait a minute, no. No, you know what? I can make it smaller. And now look, there's no points. There's no points in that ball that live inside S. Oh, definition fails. It's not a boundary point, right? So that's why you have the for all condition, right? It, it kind of like forces it to actually like be on the boundary intuitively. So um, hopefully that made a little bit of sense. That's my uh, attempt to uh, explain this definition uh, in some sense. And there's other ways to explain it, I'm sure. Uh, leave comments. Um, anything, right? Good, bad. Um, what do you think about this stuff? Subscribe if you want to. I have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Check them out. Until next time, take care.